a Brooklyn woman who says an Uber Eats driver stole her dog got her back this morning, but not from the driver, from another man. Well, thank you for staying with us. I'm Erin Elabeau. I'm Corey Chambers, and for Tamson, Pick 7 was the first to bring you this story. The dog's owner, Melanie Polanco, called police Saturday night when she realized that Ella, her dog there, was missing. After looking at the building surveillance video, she saw her Uber Eats driver taking her dog after dropping off her pizza. But thankfully, the dog is safely back home right now, and Melanie is here to talk to us. First of all, how is little Ella doing? <laughs> she's good. I mean, when we first got her, she was shaking and nervous, but um, she's here with her other siblings, um, the other puppies that are here. She's jumping around, playing, you know? So, oh. yeah, everything is good. Great. So, Melanie, walk us through what exactly happened this morning. Yeah, yeah, so um, it was around 9.30 in the morning. Um, I get a phone call, and um, it was Michael. He said, the, the Uber East driver, he said, oh, I didn't see your dog. I saw everything on the news this morning. Well, um, I, I don't want you to think that. I'll bring her back. And I was just saying, okay, where's Ella? You did steal her. Where is she? He said, no, I didn't steal her. Um, she's, she was lost. I didn't know where to, to put her. Um, is there a reward or police involved? I'm like, that doesn't matter. Where is Ella? Bring her back. Um, he said that he was out of town, so he hasn't seen anything till today. This whole and thing, that... it, it's, it, it's, it's wild. What you're saying is wild, because, oh, so, okay, so the guy <laughs> who dropped off the pizza leaves with your dog. We all saw that on, on camera, in video. We aired the story on yes. PIX11 News at 10 o'clock last night. Shirley Chan was on the story. She talked to you. You, 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 you talked to her yes. about, you know, you couldn't sleep, you couldn't eat, you were devastated, you just wanted your dog back. We all heard that last night at 10 o'clock. We saw this video together. So then the guy in the video calls you this morning and says, oh, oh, hey, yo, what's up? Oh, I'm sorry. You, we all got this twisted. I wasn't taking your dog. I was just borrowing your dog. Wait, so wait, what? So wait, so, Pick it up from there, because I don't understand what the explanation is. And yeah. he wants a reward. How does that work? I don't know. Uh, he said that he gave my dog to a woman, a neighbor. And I said, where? That's not on camera. I, um, we have footage of you leaving, and the detectives has him leaving down um, Cortelio in Brooklyn. So you did not exchange the dog to anybody that we saw. Um, and did, then he, did this guy talk to police before he talked to you? I mean, because I, I know no, I know you like called police, it, yeah. so so they weren't able to figure out who he was or where he was, and they yeah. weren't able to make contact. So so then yeah. he makes contact with you this morning to say, "Oh, yeah. whoops, my bad. Let's get the dog back." But but hold up, because he he's he's not the back. dude. He's not the guy that brings <laughs> the dog back. So so pick it up from there. No, um, the guy a guy came and I saw Ella and I asked the guy, "Who are you?" He was like, "Oh." Um, some guy paid me to bring back this dog. And I'm like, who? Cool, who's Michael? He's like, I don't know nothing. I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is the and, shadiest uh, thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. That's when the detectives were here waiting with me downstairs in an undercover car waiting from 9 to 12, 15. That's when she was brought back by this this guy that they arrested. I don't know his it name. It sounds but... like they were holding Ella ransom because the uh, delivery guy mess. had the audacity to ask about a reward and then some random guy brings Ella. So what ended up happening to the guy who actually brought Ella back? Did police take him away or where does that stand? Um, I'm not sure. I know they arrested him. I don't know if they released him, but all I know that um, the detectives did get in contact with Michael, wow. and they gave him until Friday to turn himself in. All right. So Michael's still yeah. out there. Well, he has until Friday to turn himself in. Okay, this whole thing is a hot mess. Wow. We are glad you have your dog back. <laughs> and I, I want to ask you about this because I guess really this is a two-part question. Number one, part one is is if, if our story did not air last night at 10 o'clock, do you think you would have your dog back, number one? No. Nope. And, and no, number two, how do you feel about how Uber handled this? Because you called them. You called them right afterward, and you said, hey, this guy has my dog. It's on video. How, did they, how do you rate their service? Yeah, um, Uber, terrible. Negatives, they haven't uh, really helped. Um, I've been contacting them, emails through phone. My brother has well, and they blocked my brother from stop reporting incidents about what happened with Ella. Um, they, they said they got in contact with Michael, but he said he didn't have the puppy, but then they didn't do nothing afterwards. The police trying to get the report of 
you know, Michael's information. They have not shared that with the police yet. They also have been trying multiple times and nothing. Well, I'm glad, Melanie. I am so happy right. that we were able to cut through all that red tape for you and get you yeah. your dog back. Thank goodness. And, and thanks for sharing your story with us again. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Right, you too. Well, thank goodness for that surveillance video, too. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Whew. well. Caught red-handed and still Michael, denied, denied, Michael, Michael, you know, call up a lawyer before Friday. <laughs> I mean, seriously, because right now, whatever the it's tale you're spinning, it doesn't make sense to, to regular folks. All Ooh. right.